Oh. <laughs> Catching poop mullet. Oh my god, I hope the camera caught that. Alright guys, welcome back to see you out there. So, in our last video, we had the craziest thing in the world happen. We had a mullet jump into the boat while we were idling out. So the funny thing about this is, is we've been talking about doing a mullet taste test forever. Since we decided to start doing videos, a mullet taste test has been the number one video we've talked about. Reason being, I'm from Pensacola, Florida. Back home, we eat a lot of mullet. When I say we eat a lot of mullet, I mean we eat a lot of mullet. Mullet isn't something we eat because we couldn't catch trout or redfish or flounder. Uh, well, go throw the net, get some mullet. It's something we crave back home and we love to eat mullet. If you're going to the deer woods, last guy to the camp brings a mullet. That's how it is. You fry a mullet, you all sit around, you have a big mullet fish fry. If you open it in a new store, mullet fry. Whatever you're doing. We have restaurants dedicated to these little guys back home in the Pan Am of Florida. And since I've moved here to Texas five years ago, I've been told you cannot eat Texas mullet. They don't taste the same. Makes sense. Mullet back home, that graze on sand. Here it's mud. Makes sense that the fish would probably not taste the same as they do back home. But I want to bust this myth once and for all. Can I eat Texas mullet? And do they taste the same as they do back home? Or is there a reason do they taste so bad that I'll never want to do this again? So pure fate had it today. A mullet jumped in the boat on the way out. I'll put that clip in here now so you guys can see that. You'll never believe it. This thing jumped in our boat. Oh. <laughs> Catching poop mullet. Oh my god, I hope the camera caught that. So take it and do a little. Here, take the camera and do a little something another. Y'all, I don't know if the camera just caught that, but we just turned the camera on and a mullet jumped right in our boat. And Brad looked at me and said, catch and cook mullet. So here y'all go. Yeah. I guess we're doing a catch and cook mullet. <laughs> it's fake. Let's <laughs> put him in the cooler. Catch and cook mullet. Can you put some ice in there? right it's fake we have to do a mullet video so here it goes i'm gonna fillet this fish i'm gonna fry it the way we do it back home not gonna do anything crazy same way we did our sand trout in a couple videos ago and we're gonna eat fried texas mullet see how this tastes stand by and one more thing to add on our mullet taste test here corey is against this idea has been since day one she's convinced she eats a mullet, she's gonna get a brain worm. A worm is gonna live in her brain that now lives in a mullet. She's a little apprehensive, which makes it even more fun for me, but uh, we're gonna get her to try it. If it's horrible, it's horrible, but at least she's willing to give it a try. She's a heck of a sport. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give this mullet a try. And remember, stay till the end. We've got a special announcement. All right, guys, here we go. We have our mullet, egg wash, batter, as usual. A little bit of hot sauce to put in our egg wash. Same thing we did with the white trout. We're going to do this the same way we do any other fish. We're going to give it an honest shot. See if we can turn Corey into a mullet believer. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. Let's fillet this little guy. Very curious to see how much this looks like the inside of a Florida mullet. <laughs> Would you say it sounds gross? Meat looks good. It looks white. It looks the same. Not overly muddy like I expected. Now this mullet came out of the marsh. This was not a jetty mullet, not an open water mullet. It's not muddy like I expected or like I'd been told. All right, looks good. The meat looks fine. I don't see anything different here. Let's take this little rib cage out. All right, there we go. One little mullet filet smells like a mullet. That's one thing about mullet that's off-putting. They do smell a little weird. All right, there's another one. All right, let's rinse these guys off. All 
we're going to pat them dry. All right, guys, so right now, based on what we eat at home, this looks like a good piece of fish. It's white, it's firm, it's clean. It's not stained or grayish or dirty looking. It looks really good. It looks just like Florida mullet. No off smells. It doesn't seem bad. All right, let's get these guys in the egg wash and see what happens from here. This is where, this is where the rubber hits the road. All right, now we're going to throw them over here. Hope you guys can see this. Texas mullet. All right, stand by, let's get the oil hot. All right, guys, we are gonna take our mullet. I just checked the grease to make sure it was hot. Everything seems good. Let's plop him in there. And get him going. All right, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Frying up our Texas mullet. Everything looks and smells good. Smells like it's supposed to. I'm not nervous yet. Man, I'm hoping this is just a bad mid. All right, let's give it a few more minutes. It'll be taste test time. All right, here we go. Time to take the mullet off. Pat it dry and do the Texas mullet taste test. Boys, if this is good, it's over. Every video from now on is going to be me throwing a cast net for a mullet at the end. Just kidding about that, but I do love fried mullet. Everything so far looks good. I can't believe it. It looks... I know it's fried fish and it's hard to mess up anything fried, but so far... This joker looks good. All right, let's get a uh, core in here. Let's see if we can get brain worms or if Texas mullet's good to go. All right, guys, here we go. So we've got our fried mullet. Corey is very apprehensive because mullet gives you brain worms. This is not a food source in Texas the way it is in Florida. So baby, keep an open mind. I know you're not excited about this. No. <laughs> Y'all, I have always said I'm never eating a mullet. Never. Not even a Florida mullet, which Brad says is amazing. Never wanted to eat a mullet. <laughs> but if there was ever a sign that we needed to try this, it was what happened today when the mullet just jumped in the boat. So, I'll try it just once. What you got just in case? Y'all, I got a piece of gum. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling this is not going to be great. <laughs> so, just in case it's horrible, you can get the taste out of your mouth. I'm out of Listerine. So yeah. This is... Well, there's a cold beer over there, so help yeah. yourself with that cold beer if you need to. All right, whenever you're ready. You have like Tabasco sauce I can drench this in? It's, or? The egg wash is like we normally do. Ugh. Y'all, I'm sh like, I'm shake. Look at this. <laughs> you're you're <laughs> fake shaking. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to eat this. Let's see, how does it look? Looks pretty dang good, doesn't it? All right, baby, moment of truth. It's smushy. Smells good. It's fried. It can't be bad. I dunk it. <laughs> no. <laughs> the moment of truth. Mm -hmm. What do we think? I can't taste the fish. Because it's fried? <laughs> because it's really fried and I took the biggest fried part I can find. <laughs> So we need to try a meteor piece? Um, yeah, I just have it in my head. This is going to be awful. Hold on. I'm getting a bad aftertaste. You are? Yeah. Okay. You try it before I attempt another bite. All right. So I grew up on mullet. This is what I know. Right off the bat, it tastes good. Right off the bat, I'm good with it. Let it finish. Right off the bat, it tastes like home. 
It tastes good. I got no problems. It doesn't finish well. I'm not getting anything bad. Mm -mm. I'm not getting a bad aftertaste. Mm -mm. You think maybe just because you're scared of the mullet that you're getting something weird? No, I, I think it's not great. I don't know. I don't like it. Take a, take a, yeah, there you go. All right, let's see. The bigger piece. It smells good. Hot. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. You're weird. That's gold, boys. <laughs> Texas mullet. You can eat them. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't have anything. I don't have an issue with it. I'm not getting a weird aftertaste yet. Of course, it's fried. Everything's good fried. You're a no? I'm a no. She's a no, I'm a yes. So we'll only keep half the mullet from now on. <laughs> I like the sand trout. I did good with the sand trout. Did good with the croaker. This, mm-mm. You yeah. think it's a mental block? Maybe, but I don't know. It tasted weird at the end. I was okay in the beginning, but the end, it finished weird. There you have it, guys. Inconclusive. We're 50%. I say it's good. Court says it's bad. That means we won't eat it anymore. But at least now I know you can eat Texas mullet and I don't have a problem with them. I don't know. Check back with us in five days. <laughs> <laughs> there could be some long-term side effects. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again for watching the videos. Uh, stay tuned. We've got a little special announcement here in a few minutes. So uh, thanks for watching our Texas mullet video and we'll see you out there. See you out there. Well, look, guys. <laughs> there you have it. The mullet video is in the books. Uh, it's my favorite video we've ever done. I was hoping that we had better results. I was hoping that Corey would be on board. Um, I think it tasted good. I think it tasted like the mullet back home. Um, no aftertaste. I loved it. Uh, Corey did not like it. So we're 50-50. So the myth is not busted. Um, I would say that it's not definitive that Texas mullet are good. Corey's pretty easy to please when it comes to food. She's not very picky. Um, if she says there's an aftertaste, I believe her. Um, I liked it. I have no problem. I'll fry them again for people that don't know we're frying them. Um, anyway, now we have a special announcement for you guys. I'm super excited. Uh, you've seen these lures on our channel, and we've thrown them a lot, and Corey throws one religiously. Um, so hooked up baits. Uh, Captain Jason with Hooked Up Baits has contacted us, and uh, we're going to work with him, and we're going to start throwing his lures more. Uh, and we're going to start developing some more colors with Captain Jason at Hooked Up Baits. And we're going to start doing some giveaways with his baits. So we are now with Hooked Up Baits. Um, we're going to start throwing them uh, quite a bit. And we're also probably around our 500 subscriber mark, which is coming up pretty quickly. Look forward to a giveaway. Uh, Jason's going to come up with some colors and send us some packages. And we're going to get some of these baits into you guys' hands. So in the description of this video, I'll have a link to the Hooked Up Baits website. Uh, and we'll have a link to the Hooked Up Baits Facebook page. So we're going to have a promo code coming here very soon. Once we get that, we'll share that with you guys. Uh, and you guys can start using our promo code to go on his website and order these baits. They're very good baits. Um, you've seen us use them before. We were working with Captain Jason, so you know that it wasn't just a promotional type thing. These are great lures. Um, veteran owned. Uh, veteran ran. Jason's a combat vet. He's a wonderful guy. I've known him for a long time. Fish tournament circuit with him for years. Um, I can't say enough about Jason and his lure. So, hooked up baits. You can see them more on the channel. You already know Corey loves that freaking guacamole color. Uh, Y'all get in touch with Jason and tell him you want a bag of guacamole and then pearl and chartreuse. That's what we love. Uh, anyway, thanks again for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoy this mullet video as much as I did making it. This is absolutely one of my favorite ones ever. As always, remember to like the videos and subscribe to our channel. We're rolling up on 500. Uh, we're moving fast, super excited about it. Again, we're going to do a giveaway, hooked up baits when we get to 500. And then we're going to do something really fun for 1,000. Um, see what you guys think about maybe a fishing trip with Corey and I for 1,000 subscribers. See if we can't work something out. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Y'all have a good day, and I will see you out there.